Everyone knows that if you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. I personally learned this very important lesson from our solar system. That's right, we're talking Saturn. That striking celestial beauty out there strutting their stuff 900 million miles away. Okay, to be fair, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune also have rings, but Saturns are by far the largest and the brightest, and that means they get the most attention. And I'm okay with that. I mean, look at them. But what makes Saturn so special? How come it gets to be so pretty all the time? The short answer is, we don't know. Okay, hang on though. Astronomers do know a lot about Saturn's ring system. They've known about it for centuries, ever since Galileo first spotted it with his telescope in 1610. It's made out of ice and rock particles, some as big as a minivan. And the rings are super flat, like a razor thin CD that's 170,000 miles across, but only a couple dozen yards thick. NASA has explored them, first with the Pioneer and Voyager probes, and more recently with the Cassini mission. Cassini spent more than a decade circling Saturn, and as its final act, dove between the planet and its rings. It got an awesome new measurement of the planet's gravitational field, which gave astronomers new info on the mass of the planet and its rings. But despite all that, there's still lots we don't know. Like, how old are Saturn's rings, and how did they form? You see, age is a tricky thing for astronomers to measure. They have to figure it out sort of indirectly, by measuring things like mass and color and what the rings are made of and then piecing together what they all mean about the ring's age. So from astronomers' measurements, we know Saturn's rings weigh about 33 million trillion pounds. That may sound like a whole lot, but for comparison, that's less than half the mass of Saturn's moon Mimas. We also know they're made of almost entirely ice, about 95% pure water ice with another 5% rock and metals. And we know that over time, the rings are fading. That's because the particles within the rings are colliding with each other and have a gravitational influence on each other, which causes them to spread out. Some of the material even rains down onto Saturn. Eventually, the rings will just fade away. The other way the rings are changing is their color. Space dust and meteorites fall into them, which makes them appear darker over time. So if researchers know how fast the color and mass and brightness of the rings should be changing, and they know what they look like now, that's a pretty good starting point for estimating their age. But sadly, it's not that straightforward. Different estimates put Saturn's rings at wildly different ages. It's a huge debate. Some recent studies say Saturn's rings could be as young as 10 million years old. But if you listen to other astronomers, the rings could be as old as our solar system itself, meaning they formed right alongside the planet 4.5 billion years ago. So that's a huge range, but it's not random. Here's the problem. Based on their color, Saturn's rings seem young. They're pretty bright, reflecting a lot of the light that hits them, just like our own moon. They don't look as polluted as astronomers think old rings should. So that means the rings should be young, right? Well, that doesn't tell the whole story. If the rings formed after the planet, not with it, all that ice and rock and metal had to come from somewhere. Astronomers' calculations show it would have taken a collision of the planet with something huge, a moon the size of Mimas, or maybe a large passing comet. And both of those seem pretty unlikely. Okay, fine, so the rings are old? But if they're that old, then it's weird that the rings are still around. Even despite their huge mass, rings that old probably should have faded away already. Okay, so it doesn't add up. Some newer studies are trying to make sense of this, suggesting that maybe the rings are old and formed with the planet 4.5 billion years ago, but scientists are just overestimating how quickly they should be fading. Or maybe there's something we don't know about that keeps them looking young and fresh, despite their old age. So that's the question we're left with right now. Are the rings actually young, or is something just making them look young? It all depends on how you calculate how the rings should be changing over time. This may seem like an unsolvable problem, but astronomers have hope. If NASA launched another mission to Saturn that would intensely study the rings, scientists could get enough info to finally solve this mystery. If you liked this video, you know what to do. Give us a like, leave me a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more videos. And you can find out how to join our subscribers in supporting science journalism on discovermagazine.com so we can make more videos, magazines, and stories that you can read online. I'm Dr. Funk. Yes, that is my real name. See you next time.